Yeah, definitely. Uh, me being one of the people that like grew up like uh, on like you know four on ones and stuff like that, they always had like the contest recap in there. That's how many contests there was. Where like every four on one, you were talking about a contest that went down that month. So I feel like when it was you know when you had all those contests you were able to have more because it wasn't so like organized and stuff. It was almost like, okay, we're having a contest and you, they get this huge setup like Slam City Jam or like all those big, huge, crazy courses and stuff. Like, I think we should start bringing those back with like the giant courses and the, that would be sick. But yeah, I feel like this, this is what skateboarding is. Like, you know, like it's cool to have the organized contest as well, you know, but you definitely got to have this type of stuff because like, this is the stuff that people grow up watching as a kid and that makes them want to be a part of skateboarding culture because we obviously know how to keep it lit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, I just honestly, like, didn't get to skate all the things I wanted to skate out here, and, um, I, like, you know, it, it might have been, like, showing up to a spot a little late, so I couldn't get into the contest, or, you know, being full, or whatever, so I was just like, I need to skate something, you know, so I was just like, all right, here's the barrel jump, the best trick, so I ended up doing that, and that was, like, just fun for me, but then I ended up winning and then winning two Gs, so that was sick. I didn't even know that was gonna go down. It was, it was surreal, cause like, just, you know, obviously that's been the goal since I was a little kid, and then just having a board that sick come out, like as my first board, you know, like, I, I think that'll hands down always be my favorite board, no matter what, and it was just crazy, like it's, you know, everyone always still hits me up like, hey, where can I get that board? I'm like, if you got it, you got it, you know? You gotta get that reissue or something down the line, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, like, it's, you know, it's kind of normal, like growing up, you know, all the people that I grew up, like, they just happen to be who they were. But uh, it's just a huge coincidence. Like, I just, I guess, got lucky growing up where skating pretty much started. And uh, all these dudes were around to, you know, kind of help me learn a little bit, you know, about skateboarding. And uh, it was just good to have those mentors around. And Santa Cruz, is, you know, got a pretty big history with Venice in the background. So it was cool to be bringing that vibe back. Man, I just like leaving America, period. Like, I just like getting out of the country. Like, I want to see everywhere that I possibly can. And it's just the culture, you know. It's my dad, my mom, they both love traveling and stuff and have always, you know, they took me and my brother a couple places when we were young. So all I've ever really wanted to do my whole life is just travel the world and skate and just meet new people and see new places. But I don't know, it's Australia is like, I can't even compare that place to Europe though because I thought I was gonna come here and be like, you know, that's pretty similar, but just, I realize every country is just different and that just makes me wanna just go to more countries. <laughs> um, right now, just, you know, man, heal up from this uh, crazy trip because I've gotten smoked a few times out here. But uh, you just gotta keep on trucking out here. I think for the rest of the year, I'm just gonna try to stay focused on like, you know, really just kinda I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my Switch game up, to be honest. I'm trying to skate a bunch of Switch stuff and like, uh, I don't know, just filming, you know, the usual, the norm. Try to keep it, keep the ball rolling, really.